<laughs> Sayori? Oh, hey. Oh, this piano song is cool. I sit down in her room. She forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? I like, I like the bird over here. That bird is cool. What else is up with this room here? It seems pretty standard. A box, a closet, a shelf with some stuff on it. A couple of books. Sarah's room is as messy as that is nothing. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. It's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly want to come over today? Are you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how'd you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? That is true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. So it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. Sing songy. There's more silence between us. You seem like you really need a hug. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong from you, you can't wrong with you, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So she smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Hunter. Eh. Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't go so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't be worried about me at all. Oh, that's weird. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. That's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. This is getting not... Yep, that, don't laugh after that sentence. You do not follow a sentence like that with a laugh. Sayori. Grab Sayori by the shoulders. What are you saying? Well, that, that, like, bell part there sounds cool. Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. <laughs> she gives me an empty smile. Really put me in a trap. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about? <laughs> you're really just going to make me say it, aren't you? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've oh. 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 Well, I kind of suspected that that's how this would get, end up turning. Really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a... Oh, oh no! Oh. What reason is there to do when I know fully... Well, Oh. No. Why go to school? Why eat? You, you love eating, though. Why make friends? I make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend... Ugh. That's what it feels like, and that's why I just want to make everyone happy, without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't figure out how to respond. How is it possible that she kept this from me the entire time I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think this about her? Why? What? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because I knew 
Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much I can do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. You see, that's exactly what she doesn't want, though, is more people spending energy on her. But, you know, clearly, if you're friends with him, it's Finch. That's why I'm your friend. All you have to do is tell me. You don't understand at all. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, you would have... See, I got into her area of thinking pretty easily there. Instead of doing important things, like what? I don't... Hey, stop it. <laughs> it's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against... For a second, I imagined the flying kind of bat. Oh, stop following things like that with a laugh. That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone to be happy is the best thing there is for me. Then I discovered something else, too. It's all so bittersweet, isn't it? It feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I... Oh, oh this, is, this is not fun. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Ah, uh, stop doing that. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes me for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed... Hey. You are not a horrible person. Oh. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here today and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and... This is... Couldn't tell if there were actual tears rendered on her or if there was just a smudge on my computer screen. That's all I am. That's why I'm going to accept... This is depressing. Because I didn't... No. Stop it. It's time I pull her into a tight embrace. Ah. Uh, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. She isn't hugging me back, despite my arms being wrapped around her. Her arms are manned at her side. Ouch. I start sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this. Please don't do this. I Barely manages to speak. I don't know. <laughs> he is handling this better than I could if a friend told me this. I would be like... I don't know. I would not know how to handle this. But all I want for her to know is that I care. If you have to call yourself selfish, then let me... You, then you have to let me be selfish, too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything more you need me to do, you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. She finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand many of my feelings. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I- oh. That sucks. But, your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. She lets me go. As she does though, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like to me for me to spend it all with you? Um. Ah. It's what I want. I promise. I think that would be nice then. Yeah. She wipes her eyes. I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this would have to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you do that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet in my house. 
Do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, she shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Ah. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I'll look forward to it. Oh man. Well. Jeez. On the way home, I start to find myself feeling a little uneasy. But it's hard for me to feel like this when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I sure didn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I hope. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri. Oh, that's a nice outfit. Thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry, I wasn't home yet. You waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really ner but I started to get really nervous when no one answered the doorbell. You could have texted me. But I know, and I've reassured you and hurried my on my way home. I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I decide to ignore it. Well, you know, not very easy at the social thing. Anyway, let's go inside. I see you brought your stuff with you. Or a lot of stuff with you. That's right. I'm on two and a half hours of recording. Well, a little less since I'm going to be editing out a bit. And you managed to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. Take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. <laughs> I cleaned it before you came over, so it's very considerate of you to do. Ah, uh, no. I'd be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. Would have gladly helped you. That would have taken us away from the task at hand, though. That would be even more embarrassing. Wait, don't look in there. That's Yuri's wrist in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. <laughs> ah! I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine, it's fine. I let go of her wrist. She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap as to make sure she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Ah. Yes. I have a few things plans. I have... I have a few things planned that you can help with. Decorations and atmospheric enhancements. <laughs> atmospheric enhancements? You know, mood lighting, aromatherapy candles. Oh, wow. That sounds cool. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although I'm unable to stop by out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. Hey. We stopped for cupcakes, and then we ended up staying the whole time. We're still here. <laughs> I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That is great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Ah. Intense. I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? Not really. Ah. Not at all. It's just something that I like about you, actually. Is that so? It makes me feel relieved. I'm kind of happy. No need to be so anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. I was going to use them during the poetry event. Oh no, are they like pills? Let's see. I'll just threw a bag. A few candles and a wooden cylinder. Okay. Sorry, the whole one friend has, like, life-ruining depression <laughs> took me to the worst possible scenario for the next relaxation thing there. I did some shopping on the way here, and I so happen to have these in my bag. I plan to cover the window in black paper and use candles to light the room. 
That would be, I think that would be amazing, don't you? That would look really neat. What's that wooden thing, though? Oh, this is a diffuser for essential oils. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? I really only see it on, like, labels and stuff. And, you know, obviously, sense is aroma and therapy is therapy. Is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, it can change the mood of the air itself. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Ray takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. Oh. In a, th a moment, in just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, that smells wonderful. What kind of mood is this one for? This is jasmine essential oil. That smells a little sweet and flowery, right? That's a good way to describe it. I choose jasmine for the event because it provides more relaxation. It enhances your emotions and helps them flow through your body. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing our poems? It does sound suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. She smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Yeah, I have it over here. We won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. We'll need about a hundred of them? Oh yeah? What will those be used for? I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon and hang them from the doorway of the classroom. We can fast the paper onto the ribbons to cut to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? That would be pretty cool. It would also catch the eye of the people passing by the room. It may attract some to peek and see- Oh, I hit my microphone, I'm sorry. For that assault on your ears. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Yuri. Is that so? I'm not really trying to imply negatively there, it's just, you know, it could be hard to... I suppose I do get a little intense, as you put it. Making the spider lady noises again. Ooh hoo hoo. Yuri giggles with red cheeks. It just means you're more <clears throat> relaxed when it's just the two of us. Half the time, it's just the two of you interacting with each other anyway, while everyone else is off doing whatever. Or maybe she's excitement from she feels from she, or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker. You can write any characters you want. So like villain, protagonist, static, dynamic. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. Ah, alright. Sitting on the floor, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. I would have had the help with baking if this was actually me. What? I really... I don't know how much help I could be with that either, but handwriting is my worst, like, quality ever. Yuri unravels a long strand of ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. <clears throat> Gently tinted blue. It's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Ah. Uh, well. Oh. Excuse me. Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. It's a prop from a book. To each their own, you know. You promise you won't be weirded out? Yeah, I promise. Alright. Thing is, I'm kind of into knives. I like knives and swords. Swords are my favorite. But knives are sweet too. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. It's a combination of craftsmanship and feeling the feeling of danger, maybe. 
Uh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm... No, I agree. I like knives. No, stop it. I am not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. It suits me. Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife. I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? She relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Sure, I'll check it out. She carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. I take it and turn it around in my hands. It feels heavy and extremely solid. Do you even get a knife like this? Curious if it's sharpness, I feel the point with my index finger. Ow. Why'd you do that? I didn't expect it to be that sharp. I barely touched it. Oh, hey, calm down. I should have warned you. This knife is extremely sharp. You can cut through skin like it's paper. Oh no. A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Gives the wound a closer look. Ah. Stares into it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah. Not warning, she put... Oh. 